Welcome back to Carry Yarn. This is Kat, your fearless leader. We are continuing our beginner crochet series with the double crochet. If you're looking at a written pattern, it will be abbreviated DC. Keep in mind this stitch is two times the size of a single crochet. Today I'm using a 4.5 millimeter adder swing hook and peaches and cream cotton yarn in the colorway Beach House. Use any weight of yarn and crochet hook you're comfortable with to practice. Let's get started. I've already gone ahead and chained 20 to start. If you don't know how to create a slip knot and a chain, stop here and hit the link down below. Like with single crochet and half double crochet, in order to keep the number of stitches necessary for your pattern, you're going to chain extra stitches at the beginning of each row. For double crochet, you're going to chain an additional three stitches. So go ahead and yarn over, chain one, yarn over, chain two, yarn over, chain three. So you should have 23 chains. Now what you're going to do is you're actually going to start in the fourth chain from your hook. You're not going to count the one that's on the, the hook. It's one two, three, four. So you're going to take your yarn, you're going to yarn over like you did with the half double, you're going to yarn over and go into the fourth chain from the hook and pull up a loop like you did with the half double crochet. But not like the half double crochet, you're going to yarn over and instead of going through three loops, you're going to go through two. So you're going to yarn over, pull through two then you're going to have two loops on top of your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through those two. And you've created your first double crochet. Again, yarn over, go into the second. Well, actually, this will be your fifth chain. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over and go through two. Continue doing this until you get to the second to last stitch. And we'll con show you what to do in order to turn your work. Again, you're going to go into the next leg. Yarn over. Go in and pull up a loop so that you have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over. Pull up through two. Yarn over. Pull up through two. Yarn over. Go into the next chain, pull up a loop, and you'll see you have three. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Continue doing this and come back when you've completed till you have two stitches before the end of your row. And I'll show you what to do to turn your work. Okay guys, you can see that I've almost completed a full row of double crochet. And you'll notice that they are indeed two times the size of a single crochet. In order to complete the row and to turn, you're going to go into the last chain on your row. And again, you're going to yarn over so that there's yarn on your, your hook. Go into the last chain, pull up a loop so that there's three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And you'll have an entire row of double crochet. You're going to go ahead and you're going to chain three. You're going to go one, yarn over two, yarn over three. And you're going to go ahead and turn your work over. And you'll notice, again, that your slip knot tail is on your right hand side. Like with the single crochet and the half double, you are not going to go and chain, or you're not going to go ahead and stitch in that first V. You're actually going to go in to the second V, which is this one. And again, remember, you want to make sure that you're going through both legs of that V, not just this one and not just that one. So go ahead and yarn over. Make sure that you have that entire V on top of your crochet hook, pull up a loop. So you'll have three loops on your crochet hook. 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go in through both legs on that V, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Continue until you get to the last stitch, well, second to last stitch on your row, and I will show you how to turn. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, you'll see that I've almost completed my second row of double crochet. And there's a reason why that I wanted to stop and show you what to do when you turn here. You'll notice that you have the series of chains that you used to start your row prior. Now, you'll notice that there's a gap here too. At the top of that chain, there is an actual V that you can stitch into and make your final stitch. So you go, go in and yarn over. Find that last V, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up through two, yarn over and pull up through two. And you'll notice that it leaves a bit of a gap in your work down here at the bottom. Now some purists say, oh, well, this is what you have to do. Some will say, no, that's not the right way. I think it's a matter of preference, but what I like to do is actually to yarn over, go through that entire chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you'll notice that the edge is a little cleaner. Go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. Remember, we're going to skip that first stitch. And if you really want to to make sure that you're right, you're going to count one, two, three, four. So you've already got the four. You're going to go into the second. Make sure you yarn over. Put that V on top of your hook. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Go into the next. Make sure you have your V on top of your crochet hook. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, put your V on top of your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Continue practicing until you feel that you've got the double crochet down. Within the next couple days, I will be putting another video up indicating how to do a treble crochet. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at the email address down below. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching Carrie Yarn. This is Kat. Bye-bye.